want to share something with you. Sometimes we don't know how to handle a narcissistic partner. Well, let's say like this. When you have a narcissistic partner, one of the best ways to deal with them is don't go deep. And deep is an acronym. D stands for don't defend yourself. E stands for don't engage. Don't get caught up in that conversation. The second E stands for do not waste your time explaining your position. And P, don't personalize it. Don't take it to heart. See, when you deal with a narcissistic partner, this is what's happening. Their ego is getting off on watching you come unraveled. The more unraveled they become, the more in control they feel. And they love pushing your little buttons to keep you on the defense. But the greatest defense is an offense. And one way you can take offensive moves is to determine how you're going to behave while they're trying to make you act a fool. Hmm. So one thing you can do is ignore. Another thing you can do is dismiss. Think about these little things you can do. Mm -hmm. That's right. You can even agree with whatever they say against you. So you're probably right. You know I'm not perfect, just like you. And keep on stepping. I remember years ago, I was dating a guy who, um, what's the word? He blamed me. It was a false blame, but he blamed me for, he tried to accuse me of seeing somebody else. And when he tried to accuse me of seeing somebody else, I just said, well, believe whatever you want to believe. I don't have to explain anything to you. You know, you figure it out. But you're not even going to get an answer from me because I will not honor that comment with a response. I'll see you later. And that was the end of that. Never happened again never happened again. You know, <laughs> I remember one time we were joking around and the person, I mean, we were going back and forth bantering, clowning, and they said a little cutting, little cutting remark. And I just quietly took my keys. They were in the other room. I quietly took my keys, my pocketbook, eased on out the door, Went downstairs, got in the car, and went home. I ended it. Because, you see, you have to love yourself and respect yourself enough not to say that kind of behavior is okay. It's never okay. Never. But you have to appreciate yourself. You have to value yourself. Now, if you don't have self-value, if you don't have a self-esteem, if you don't think you're worthy, you better go to God, baby. Because only His love will give you that. That's what gave me my self-esteem. God's love, not a man's love. No. See, this is where we fall short. We think that we can go to a broken person with our brokenness and they will make us whole. Try to hammer a nail with a hammer, with a broken handle, what a broken handle where one part is dangling. Try to see how effective you can be in hammering that 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 nail in the wall. It ain't gonna happen. Why? You need leverage. That thing needs to be strong to get that nail in the wall. And I'm going to tell you, the only one in your life that is strong enough to nail it, baby, 
is God. The only one strong enough to make you whole is God. I know it's a hard pill to swallow because, see, this is where we come off at. A lot of us, not all of us, a lot of us are codependent, and even some of you narcissists or some of the narcissists that you engage with are codependent. And that's why they don't let bad relationships go. See, this is, oh, I'm trying not to go in too many directions. But let me, let me just strike this chord while I'm on this note. When you have a codependent narcissist, what you're going to end up with is somebody who, even if you and that person break up, they're always going to stay in contact or keep the phone numbers with their former lovers. Why? Because an empty spot must be filled. They cannot be by themselves. They will not be by themselves. Even if it's a toxic relationship, they would rather be in that than not have anybody at all. Oh no, 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 that's not going to happen. So, when you're dealing with a narcissist, you have to be very careful of how, how you deal. And in all honesty, baby cakes, it's better not to. See, when you have a narcissist like that, and you have a whole bunch of hurts going back and forth, the one thing you should never do is sit there and bury your soul. They're very good at using your confidences, your vulnerabilities against you. They're opportunists. They know what music to make you dance by to make sure you fit in to their scheme of things. You fill their purpose in life. You fit their needs. They don't care about your needs. They don't care if you did something that they blamed you of or not. They're not concerned about all that. If they hurt you, oh, they'll hurt you. They might even apologize because they've been taught to. But if they keep doing it over and over and over again, they're not sorry. <laughs> the only thing that brings about real change is godly sorrow. Even unsaved people have little areas of godly sorrow because they get to a point where they say, you know what, that's wrong. I don't need to do that anymore. Something's wrong with that behavior. And that's why Jesus says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. If you don't face the truth about yourself, baby, you will never get free from that toxic behavior. You will never get free from that toxic tongue. You will never get free from their toxic treatment of you. So that's what you have to think about. You have to pray about that. When you see those red flags, mm -mm. let me share a few red flags getting into a toxic narcissistic relationship. Jealousy, jealousy, jealousy. They're either going to falsely accuse you of coming on to somebody else that you might be asking for direction. Falsely accuse you of putting your family before them. You're in this together, so why are you looking to them? You got me. Yeah, right. <laughs> they want your undivided attention. They do not want to share you. They do not want you to have a life or a social circle of your own. They want to be the center of your universe. Hmm. That's right. It can be very dangerous. And if they are vindictive and volatile, huh, don't be surprised if you end up with a busted lip or a black eye. 
over nothing. It, it doesn't matter what it's over. There's never, there's never an excuse for physical violence. They will use their tongue to shape you and mold you into this little puny, shriveled up, nothing of a human being. So they can yank your cord and 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 pull your string and turn you into a little puppet. Because see, they recognize the codependence in you, and the codependency in you will will fill their ego. Because they know you want to please them, they spot pleasers a mile away. And when you're a pleaser, and you bow down and and bend yourself into a pretzel shape, trying to be all that they need. Mm-hmm. And you think that everything you do for them is going to make them, turn them into a better person? Don't fool yourself, baby. Yeah, they see the desperation in you, and they're going to pull your cord, baby. They're going to play you like a violin. Hmm. Remember that old song years ago? Um... Pull my little string and I'll dance for you. I'm your puppet. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Don't be anybody's puppet. Be your own person. You hear me? Alright. That's just my little warning to those of you who are feeling needy. Those of you who are wanting for that love. Yeah, no other human being can validate you. Only God can. And if you don't believe in God, baby, you're going to have a tough road to hoe finding a person that can complete you. Because there's nobody on the planet that can do that. We love saying it, though. Oh, I want someone to complete me. Someone who knows how to love me. Someone who will, who will be the better half of me. Baby, you better be both your half. In other words, be whole. Be healthy, whole, and single before you try to hook up with someone else who's just as broken as you are. Or oh, you're going to have hell on wheels, baby. All right. I'm done. I hope you heard me. And let me put a shout out to to Dr. Romani. She has a lot of videos on narcissism, codependence, toxic relationships, the do's and don'ts, the danger signs. Yeah. So that's my little shout out. God bless you.